Uh, O'Neill at fullback, Hancock and Khan on the wings, Renoff and Johns in the centres, Kevin Walters, Alan Langer, the brand new dad, Lazarus and Kieran Walters, Hone, Gilmeister, Can and Madison. Not so much the same thing we go the other side of the book when we have a look at those Canberra Raiders because uh, they've changed their team round quite a bit and it reads as follows. Gary Belcher is back there in the fullback spot and here's where the changes start. The reserve grader Noah Dedruku comes onto the wing which means that Jason Croker, believe it or not, goes to lock forward. Bradley Clyde goes to the second row. Quentin Pongia goes to the front row and Paul Osborne goes on to the bench so there's how the camper team lines up a bit of a change around uh, and quite an incredible change actually but that's the way they'll line up for the clash here with the Broncos this afternoon man in charge today is Greg McCallum he's officiated on 24 occasions in uh, Broncos matches and uh, on those they've won 16 and lost eight that'll have no bearing on what happens today should be a top class match and Gene I don't know about you but I'm really looking forward to this one yeah I certainly am Billy and uh, you know as it's been noted in the press this week a lot of the Broncos are on their final chance I know here's the kickoff ball carrying deep down in the in goal area going to be taken back there by Kevy Walters or rather Lazarus uh, he runs it out and uh, is about eight metres out from his own line. That's Mark Hone taking it up right now. Yes, a lot of players with their reputations online, a very important match for the Broncos, and that's not the ideal way to start. No, Kerr just taking his eyes off the ball there, looking to where he's passing it before he actually had the ball in his hands. So the scrum to be fed this time by Ricky Stewart. Stewart lining up with the referee McCallum in the middle of the scrum at the moment, talking to both front rows. In by Stewart, takes it out, runs the open side, taken there by Daly, he had to reach right down to get that one, Steve Renoff coming at him, he'll take him ball and all, stands up on the tackle, plays it, Mullins from dummy half, gets it back this time, that's Pongia, dummy half is Walters, there's three of them running around out there today, Stewart, cut out pass, gets it over there this time to Lomax, the New Zealander. He's put down 12 metres out from the Broncos line. From the play, the ball. Back to Stewart again. He'll be the playmaker. Watch him today. Here's the other one, a danger man in Daly. Little kick coming through. O'Neill across over there. Takes it in the end goal area. Gets up, starts to move. Forced him to touch in the end goal area. Canberra showing the hand very early here with uh, Stewart putting the ball in behind the line. We'll see a fair bit of that, I would imagine, today. And they'll certainly test out Julian O'Neill. Here's the kick through. O'Neill coming right across and then he gets up, tries to get back into the field of play but is forced into touch in the end goal area. Julian O'Neill with a drop out from underneath the goal mouth. Drives it deep downfield, down almost to the halfway mark. It was taken that back there by Ricky Stewart. And Capra making good ground this time under the auspices of big Mal Meninga there. So from the play of the ball, they're working up to about 24 metres out now from the Broncos line as Walters comes up as dummy half. He'll feed away on the blind side. Coming through over there is Lomax again. Plenty of talk going on, as you can hear. Lots of chatter. Get up, get up, do this, do that. Back it goes to Ricky Stewart. Stewart the long pass to Daly. Daly working across field. Back inside to Meninga. But the big fellow's going to be wrapped up there by Terry Madison in the tackle. So Walters away from dummy half. Kerrod's out after him. The pass comes back inside. Meninga keeps it going. On it goes this time to Croker. Croker gets it outside. Wrapped up in the tackle over there will be Pongia. But Canberra putting on some early pressure now from the play of the ball. Back to Ricky Stewart. He props, sends it back the other way. There's Daly. There's another little kick coming through. It'll be taken back there this time by Wallace. He's in turn, sends it outside to Willie Khan. But he'll be wrapped up in the tackle coming about over there from Jason Croker. So now to Lazarus up against his old teammates. Kieran Walters up as dummy half. Alan Can. Tackler is Daly. Also getting a cross over there this time is Lomax. Walters from dummy half to Gilmeister. Straight ahead. Don't be surprised if you see the Broncos throw the ball out early in this tackle camp. Billy with Canberra playing the, 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 con the condensed uh, line of defence. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the way the Broncos play the game, that's a bit, looks very inviting to them. So there's the penalty. There's Gilmeister taking it up. And then over the top. Holding him down, and uh, referee McCallum had no trouble in, in awarding a penalty. So the Broncos take the tap a metre short of the halfway mark. Mark Hone takes it up. No points on the board as yet. Out this time to Lazarus. Lazarus straight up the centre. The tackler over there will be Pongia. From the play, the ball. On to Alan Can. Can trying to find a way up the centre there. Breaks out of a couple of tackles, almost gets away. 
But a last ditch effort is going to hold him back. Wallace from dummy half to Madison. Back inside to Gilmeister. Back to Wallace. Wallace cuts out home. Gets it away to Renoff. Renoff trying to find a way through, but Mullins is there to take care of him. Wraps him up. 18 metres out from the Canberra line. From the play, the ball away from dummy half. It's Hancock. Hancock trying to find a way through. He's a very strong, powerful player, but they eventually wrestle him to the ground. It's the final tackle to Alan Langer. Chip kick, it came off a Canberra player, but it's going to be taken back there by Gary Belcher. And Belcher put down some eight metres out from the Canberra line. So now the Raiders attempting to ruck it out from their own territory. Going across field over there is Bradley Clyde. One of the many danger men in this Canberra side. That's the thing. If you think you've got someone bottled up, somebody else pops up elsewhere. It's important that they work from Mark here, Billy, with uh, Stewart's got the best kicking game in, in the game. And there he is, putting it into action. Julian Earl turns around, knocks it back, eventually regathers, runs up. He's 30 metres out from his own line, straight ahead. And Nadruku comes in for the tackle. Steve ran off from dummy half, outside of Mickey Hancock. Hancock straight ahead. Don't be surprised to see the Broncos throw it wide. Wallace away from dummy half, works up over the halfway. Well, they watched uh, highlights of their attacking game yesterday morning prior to training. Langer to Can, Can out wide, but they're still on the halfway mark, making no headway at the moment. Croker came into the tackle, and also there was Clyde. That's Lazarus outside to Hone. Hone straight ahead, but the tackler comes in. It's John Lomax. Wraps him up, ball and all. Back to Alan Langer again. He's going to kick this time. A big high one. Going for touch, but Gary Belcher is back there for Canberra. Up over the 20-metre mark. Still going as Belcher, but eventually knocked over. Tackler over there was Glenn Lazarus. From the play of the ball, Stewart. And the big tackle coming in over there on Croker. So away from dummy half, trying to find a way through this time is Pongia. Away from dummy half, Steve Walters. Eight metres short of the halfway mark. Dummy half is Pongia again. Back to Ricky Stewart. Coming across is Julian O'Neill, will take it 18 metres out from his own line. No points on the board at the moment at ANZ Stadium. O'Neill, a cross field, can't get away from the tackle. Good work there by Laurie Daly, summed him up. Out it goes this time to Hancock. Hancock straight ahead, but there's plenty of camera defence over there. And he's pegged back on his own 20 metre mark. So out it goes to Lazarus, taking it up the centre of the big fella. That's more like it, strike a bit of form today. Breaks out of a couple of tackles, made some good ground and kept them on the move. That's the important part. Alan Can. Can wrapped up. And then it all comes undone. Brown not happy about the decision there by referee McCallum. Certain number 12 wasn't happy either. <laughs> Ricky Stewart feeds the scrum. Dropping off the back of the scrum is Croker. Outside to Stewart. Stewart going to be wrapped up though. Taken ball and all by Willie Kahn. Cameron not getting away from the defence there of Alan Langer. On it goes this time to Furner. In the crowd getting behind the Broncos to stir them up a bit. That's Pongia taking it up. 40 metres out from the Broncos line. Walters. Stewart. Out to Daly. Daly with a high kick this time. Big high one. O'Neill's back there, takes it safely, bundled down by Meninga. From the play of the ball, it's Willie Kahn with it now. Kahn working up to the 20 metre mark. Tim Sheen's obviously, uh, Tim Sheen's obviously uh, had a look at the game last week and Julian O'Neill spilling a couple of balls last week and uh, at every opportunity I think you'll see Daly put it in the air, test out the young fella. Yeah, well we would expect that as a follow up. So now the penalty to the Broncos. Take the tap on the 40 metre mark. This is Lazarus. They look a lot more positive today, this Bronco side, Gene. Yeah, being well led by Glenn Lazarus, he's taken a number of rucks up and making very good yardage. That's Gilmeister. Walters, Mark Hone. They're moving forward all the time with the ball, which is something they haven't been doing the last couple of weeks. That's Chris Johns. Dummy half is Walters. Out to Langer. Dummies, the jinking run, but he can't get through. Wrapped up in the tackle of Walters. Madison, outside this time to Mark Hone. He gets it away, it's going to be knocked down there, I would say. 
referee to play the knock on. As children, they witnessed a brutal slaying. Fifteen years later, somebody wants them silenced. Oh my God! Matlock's back in town. Isn't that right, Chef? In the gripping movie premiere, The Witness Killings, Wednesday on Win. I'm a working gay man. I'm a working gay man. I do the best that I can. I'm a working gay man. Work, work. I'm a working gay man. Work, work. I'm a working gay man. Work, work. I'm a working gay man. I'm a working gay man. I do the best that I can. I'm a working gay man. The intelligent Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System is now even more efficient. Because now you can tell it which parts of your home to heat when you need it and which parts of your home to heat when your family needs it. Don't change your lifestyle. Change your heater to an intelligent Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System. Frawley's put feet first this footy season with football boots by Stingray, Puma and Mitre from as low as $29.95. Select your football boots from Frawley's and you could win one of our 45 autographed Malmeninga footballs. For after the game, Frawley's have the latest look hiking and bushwalking boots for men, women and the kids, all just $59.95. Play the game to win. Support the local team and head straight to your nearest Frawley store. Remember, the name of the game this season is Frawley's. The people who put feet first. If you're feeling hungry, the beach to go. Here's a little number you really ought to know. One, three, one, one, three, oh. There's only one number you need to know. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Pick up your phone and dial. Jacko. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Cameras, paints, and paper. Pick up the phone and Are you thinking of building a new home? Think California Kit Homes, a division of Masterton Homes. Winners of the 91-92 HIA Best Home Award. California Kit Homes are now in Canberra and will deliver these beautiful homes anywhere in Canberra and southeastern New South Wales. You can build it yourself. Everything is included, even the kitchen, the whole Nebel kitchen. And the best news is you don't have to do all the work yourself. We can erect and finish your dream home and still save you money. California Kit Homes, phone us on 280 -4412. And tombed in a watery grave for more than 80 years. So many people lost their lives. Now, for the first time on television, an extraordinary expedition to uncover the greatest shipwreck in the world. Premiering 8:30 Thursday on Wind Television, Titanic: Treasure of the Deep. Stuart feeds the scrum right on the Canberra 30-meter mark. The Druku coming across from the wing outside of Ricky Stewart. Stewart await there as dummy half. Gets it out to Bradley Clyde. Clyde well wrapped up though. Mark home from one side. Coming in from the other was Kevy Walters. That's Ongier taking it up. McKellen having a good look at the Broncos defensive line. Walters getting it back to Lomax this time. Back to Walters. Bit of a high swinging arm. Brought a bit of a roar from the crowd. So back to Stewart. Shapes with a kick then decides to pass. Daly's going to be the one with the kick. It's a little chip kick. He tries to regather. Can't do that. Kevin Walters comes away with it for the Broncos, works up towards the halfway mark, and eventually going to be wrestled to the ground by Mullins. Dummy half is Walters. Back to Langer. Outside then to Hancock. Hancock bustling his way up over that halfway mark. Walters, dummy half. Shoots it away to Gilmeister. Gilmeister up the centre. Walters to dummy half. Crowd starting to come alive now as Langer sends a long one out to Chris Johns. Johns inside to Renault, juggle it. He lost it a couple of minutes ago, but he, he held on to that one. Johns to the dummy half spot. Back in turn to Langer. Back the other way this time. Madison gets it away to Johns. He dummies. Held up on the 20-meter line. Final tackle. Kieran Walters. Swings it away on the blind side. Madison with a little chip kick. Ran off after it. Belches back there for Canberra. Takes it on the full in the end goal area. And play will come back to the 20-meter 20, 20 mark. Quick tap there. So Walters to dummy half. Back over there to Lomax. 
one of uh, three Kiwis in this side. Here's another one of them in Quentin Pongia. So back it goes to Bradley Clyde. Clyde out of a couple of tackles. He's up over the halfway looking for support, but goes to ground with it. Underneath was Kerrod Walters. Coming in over the top was Willie Kahn. Back over to Stewart. Stewart with another big high one. O'Neill lets it bounce. It bounces away from him. Madruku trying to get it. It's in the touch just inside that 20 metre mark. the scrum for the Broncos outside of Walters Walters trying to find a way through but that's Belcher up from the fullback spot to wrap him up so their defense is well up on this Broncos lineup Terry Madison was going all right until Bradley Clyde appeared on the scene back on to Gilmeister the axe charging his way up unloads it this time to Kieran Walters Walters out wide to Willie Khan Khan trying to get away from Hockey does he's down the grandstand touch line he's up over the halfway mark Stewart coming across in cover I think he lost his own footing also and eventually uh, back over there to knock him down and finish him off. Will be Mal Meninga, but a great run of the Broncos on the ball. Now it goes to Alan Langer. Langer turning it back the other way. But the defence is there. Still got the numbers on the left. And they're holding him down on the tackle. Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin Wallace trying to get his back onto his feet. The penalty coming up. Ten minutes in the bin. in the bin and the first uh, opportunity for the Broncos to get into scoring spot as we watch the replay great individual skills here by Willie stands up Sean Hoppy beats Mel Meninga for pace it's just unfortunately he looks like he, he lost his footing Ricky Stewart had no oh yeah Ricky Stewart ankle tapped him and it was a good uh, quick play of the ball and, uh, and of course that led to uh, Ricky Stewart holding the tackle player down and uh, receiving 10 minutes in the sin bin, which went over very well with this uh, large crowd. Didn't look as though he made contact first up, uh, Stewart, but he just, just tapped him on that ankle, that yep. was enough. Terry Madison now looking for the opening points out here at ANZ Stadium today. Shouldn't have any trouble with this one. On his way. Kick is there. First two points on the board. Broncos lead the Canberra Raiders by two points to nil. So there's the kickoff down. Down into that in goal area again, and Willie Khan runs it out, puts his head down, and charges straight up into that Canberra defence. He ran into Bradley Clyde. This is Lazarus. No tentative running with Lazarus today and turning his back into the fence. He's taking them head on. Could have lost it in there. He did. That's a knock on. Second time in this match where we've had un unforced errors coming from the Brisbane side. First of all, it's Kerrod Walters and now by, uh, by Glenn Lazarus. It puts pressure back on the Brisbane Broncos. Puts you under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure indeed. So Laurie Daly steps in as the halfback. He feeds the scrum for Canberra. He'll get it across over there this time to Croker, who's dropped out. They've lost the ball, Canberra. Broncos come away with it. Walters gets it back inside. That's uh, Gilmeister. Gilmeister's going to be wrapped up, though. Coming in right in underneath this time is David Ferner. Back to Langer. So the advantage for Canberra gone as the Broncos end up in possession. Willie Khan looking for somewhere to go. He got away from Bradley Clive, but only momentarily. Was then wrapped up by the winger coming in and Sean Hoppy. 
And of course, Billy with Canberra playing this condensed line of defence, and uh, obviously they're one man down with uh, Stewart and the Sinbin. They'll look to throw the ball out wide at every occasion. Lazarus takes it up the centre. About eight metres inside Canberra territory. The Broncos have the advantage of two points to nil at the moment. This is Mark Hone. Hone straight ahead. Eventually pulled to the ground on the tackle coming up there from Croker. Final tackle. Back to Langer. Runs it wide. Still going. Trying to find a gap. Sends it back inside. Picked up by Ramon. Out of a couple of tackles. But eventually going to be put down. The tackler there was Belcher. Canberra with the turnover. So away from dummy half. It'll be Hoppy. Great to see the Brisbane halfback uh, running the ball this afternoon. And doesn't it make a difference when he does? Bradley Clyde on the 30 metre mark. Wallace from dummy half, they work the blind side. That is Ferner with it now. All back to Belcher, has he knocked it on? No, he hasn't, the referee says play on. Lucky to get away with it, Canberra. Up is dummy half, Steve Walters. Swings it back to Daly. Daly unloads it this time to Pongia. He's going to give it a Lomax, but he would have been offside. They seem to have lost a bit of direction since uh, Stewart's been in the sin bin build. Well, uh, he is their organiser, basically, isn't he? He's, um, we've seen it when they haven't had him in past days. Uh, they get in a bit of trouble. This is Laurie Daly. The kick downfield bounces up nicely for Julian O'Neill. He runs straight at Nadruku, the winger. Then he cuts back inside. Eventually, he's going to be picked up by Mullins. So Walters to Langer, outside then to Hancock, who's really gone looking for work in the opening part of this match. Both wingers both, both have gone looking for work, yeah. This is Gilmeister. He's up to the 40-metre line. Dummy half Walters to Madison, lurking outside of him, getting ready for it. Walters again. He decides to go away from the dummy half spot, breaks up the centre. Still going, looking for support. There's Alan Langer. Langer sends it back the other way. Coming through is uh, Walters. Still going back the other way to uh, Steve Renoff. Renoff running around. He's almost in. He's going to be put down about a metre or so from that line. Final tackle. Broncos well and truly on the attack. Renoff slow to get back onto his feet. Dummy half is Walters. Out it goes to Langer. Langer to Lane. Now sends it out. certainly is brilliant and great lead up work there by the Ipswich connection we saw Carrot break away from we see uh, Alfie here saw, saw we had the numbers out wide threw the ball out wide to Alan Cairn and just a, a weight of numbers saw uh, Big Lazo out wide looming out wide and goes in for a good try well it's a little bit of magic from Alan Langer to do the story here it is he drew a couple of uh, defence uh, tackles there then got it away and look at Glenn Lazarus he said Big Mal try and stop me if you can no chance of stopping him the way he was going head on shows Alan Cairn nice work and here's Lazo bang over for the try good stuff I think he might have a little smile on his face after that I reckon he has Tell you what, I think there's a few Broncos directors who've got a bit of a smile <laughs> on their face too. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, Billy, great lead-up work by Kerrit. Kerrit taking off from dummy half, finding Alan Langer in support, and then, of course, Kevy was backing up, found Steve Renouf. Steve was very unlucky to be pulled down just short of the line, and then just the weight of numbers out wide, and Alf uh, decided to throw it out wide, and he found a big prop looming out wide. So now it's Terry Madison attempting to convert this drive. And another big crowd out at ANZ Stadium today have really started to buzz. They've been waiting a couple of weeks for it. Still a long way to go as yet. But it looks promising. Madison attempting to convert. On his way in now. Good striker of the ball is Madison. Let's see how he see it. No, that's no good. It's way well away. So the score remains. Broncos have a lead of six points to nil. Thursday nights. Join Phil Small. Rugby League year 1993. It's underway. John Hobbs. Those guys must perform and then the rest of the team will follow. Steelers international Bob Linda. We'll go up there a lot better prepared this year. And Jeff Phillips. What are the goals for the Steelers in 1993? In an hour of interviews, player profiles and competitions in League Roundup. 10.30 Thursday nights on Win Television. You can still only count on one company for a total hydraulic hose and fitting service. NZ. At your place or ours.
Call us anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. NZ, the right connection. Master gas fitters are the performers and the top gas supply is set up for you. Master Gas Fitters are offering the Vulcan Powerhouse Gas Ducted Heating System on interest-free terms. Buy now and pay no deposit on three months interest-free terms and just 20% deposit on six months interest-free terms. Offer is limited, so warm up now with Vulcan Powerhouse. Master Gas Fitters are the performers and the top gas suppliers and for you. Gordon Valley Homes takes environmental responsibility seriously. So do their suppliers. Masterbuilt Garages are committed to supplying quality products at realistic prices. They have a range of glide roll garage doors in lots of colors and styles with remote control available. Gordon Valley Homes have their garage doors masterbuilt. FAW Building Supplies are another environmentally conscious Gordon Valley supplier. They demand a sturdy, attractive finish. So quality FAW Building Materials are the only choice. Build on solid ground with FAW Building Supplies. The product, the quality, the experience. Lighting and ceramic supplies for your Gordon Valley home. Who's the only local manufacturer of clay bricks and pavers? With display centres in Mitchell, Queenby and Fishwick and at selected resale outlets. New Brick, proudly supporting the Gordon Valley environmentally friendly home. Gordon Valley Homes, building a better environment. When the NRMA chose their best small to medium car of the year, they went past all of the competition and chose the new 1993 Hyundai Lantra. Restart of play. And it's David Furner to drive the ball deep down into Broncos territory. And Willie Kahn takes it back there, runs it up, and is pulled out about 18 metres out from the Broncos line. Walters back to Lazarus, the big fellas churning him up today. Dummy half is Walters. Walters back over there to Mark Hone. Hone broke out of the first tackle, that of Croker. Walters. Alan Can turning on a bit of a grand final match. Lost the ball back behind, but it's a knock-on. It knocked it forward. But the Broncos' attacking machine really dropping into top gear. Yeah, we see, uh, oh, just prior to that, Alan Ken making a great run down the sideline. Shows the ball to Steve Renouf and unfortunately just bounced out of Steve Squares. So Laurie Daly feeds a scrum for Canberra. And a penalty coming up to Canberra. Daly... Now giving the ball across to Mal Meninga. So the kick for touch by Mal Meninga finds it a couple of metres short of the halfway mark. Wallace from Dummy Hart sends it outside this time to Lomax. Lomax driven back in the tackle. That was a big one there by Glenn Lazarus. He's letting these Canberra boys know that he's on the other side of the field. Great hit coming oh. up here. Trevor Gilmeister and Glenn Lazarus over the top. And uh, John Lomax didn't like that too much. Well, don't say I blame him. I felt it up here. Here's Ferner with the ball now. Kieran Wallace coming in underneath. Kevin Wallace over the top. Steve Wallace is dummy half. Daly a little bit unsure, then decides to put it up. Ricky Stewart coming back onto the field. O'Neill, oh, he's lost the ball in the tackle. Got to be picked up by Steve Wallace. Canberra with a chance to go on the attack now. From the play of the ball, turning it away. Pongier gets it outside of Bradley Clyde. Now Hoppy, Hoppy's going to be over in the corner. Canberra come back. Just that one mistake inside the, their own quarter. And bang, Canberra back in action. And they get it now. Broncos lead by 6-4. to four. 
Well, really, Laurie Daly didn't know what to do with this ball. He had his outside backs up and they were far too flat, so he decided to put it in the air. And uh, Julian O'Neill had a lot of pressure on him from Gary Belcher. And the mistake come and just the way the numbers once again. Sean Hoppy doing very well and making that extra ground make the kick a little bit easier for Big Mel. Oh, David Furness, sorry. Steve Walters. He'll turn it back then to Lomax. Walters again decides to have a bit of a run. Mark Honus here. He got away from him. He unloads the pass. Meninga sends it back inside to Croker. Croker stepping his way through. Still going. Kira Walters coming across at him. He drops. He darts down and eventually put to the ground. Tackler over there was Julian O'Neill. But Canberra keep it going now. Stewart turning it back inside to Daly. Daly out of the first up tackle. Gets to the 20 metre mark. One still going, gets it on this time to Mullins. Mullins cutting back inside is going to be wrapped up, and the man to do it will be Mick Hancock. Final tackle now. Daly keeps it going. Stewart, another long one out there to Meninga. Meninga unloads it back to Belcher. Dived on by the Broncos. Coming away with it is Phil Meister. Got up and ran another five or six metres. Put down 30 metres out from his own line. Canberra Raiders looking very dangerous every time they touch the football now. Laurie Daly, very elusive. Slipped out of a couple of tackles. So now it's Alan Can with it. Dummy half is Walters. Away to Langer. Langer outside then to Kevin Walters. He's well and truly wrapped up. Langer drops up his dummy half. Outside to Lazarus. Lazarus another strong run. He was looking for support, but there was no one at home for the Broncos there. Out to Langer. Langer with the kick between Nadruku and Gary Belcher. The winger is the one that'll come away with it. Put over, 15 metres out from the halfway mark. Six points all at the moment at ANZ Stadium. That's Furner. David Boyle coming on the field for Canberra. He has placed Mullins. So now it's Canberra in possession. Daly again. Belcher. Belcher still going. Slipped out of a couple of tackles. Cutting back inside. Canberra looking dangerous again. Croker's eventually going to be put down. This is the final tackle though. Let's see what they do with it. Daly to Stewart. Stewart puts the little kick in behind now. Going back there is O'Neill. He'll take it. O'Neill stepping around. Still going. Cutting up to the quarter line. Working across field and eventually going to be wrapped up. Ponji, the man in the tackle. Striking it over there is Steve Wallace, another six. Brisbane need the big guys to take it forward now. So back it goes to Langer, outside to Hone. Hone in turn is put to the ground by Boyle. This is Gilmeister charging his way up the centre. Tackler up there is Lomax, together with Laurie Doe. Langer. Wallace, John's out wide, going beautifully. Oh, into touch there was danger everywhere for Canberra but the pass sailing into touch did everything right there got on the outside of Mel Meninga Mel was uh, caught in no man's land all he had to do was put the ball on uh, Willie Khan's chest and he was away and the look of anguish on uh, Chris Johns's face said that all yeah. 
In by Ricky Stewart. Over to Laurie Daly. Back inside to Meninga. Meninga up the centre. Broke out of the first tackle, that of Kevin Walters. Madison eventually wraps him up. They work the blind side with Stewart. On it goes to uh, Lomax. Out to Belcher. Belcher to Hoppy. Hoppy going to be wrapped up, though, but they're only 18 metres out from the Broncos line and a few tackles up their sleeve. The pressure coming up now with Lomax. Lomax put down 10 metres out. Over to Stewart. Stewart flicks it back inside. Radley Clyde on the muscle. Well wrapped up in the tackle, though, by Lazarus. Stewart, there's still plenty of pressure coming up. Daly outside of Meninga. Meninga gets it away to a Boyle. Boyle's going to be knocked out. It is the final tackle. Nadruku is the dummy half. What's he do? Tries to go himself. He's going to be held up. And that'll be the turnover. Well, I don't think his Canberra teammates would be too happy with him then. They had a perfect opportunity to put the ball in the air once again. Put in the air to anything, but there's no run ahead like that when there's about four guys there. Karen Walters the tackle by Ferner. Lazarus. Six all the score at ANZ Stadium. Wallers to Can. Can't make any headway. Bradley Clyde the tackler. So Madison outside to Langer. Langer away then to Walters. Dummy half is Peter Ryan on the field. He's taking the place of Mark Hone. Kicks through now on the final tackle. Gary Belcher back there with it. And isn't it good to see this fellow back in action? Yeah, it certainly is. They, they missed him last year, and it's great to see him back injury-free once again. Nelly coming up to Canberra, reaping of the ball. We see Gary Belcher and uh, Terry, Terry Madison, was it? Uh, Trevor Gilmore is just ripping the ball loose. Penalty and more pressure for Bruce to absorb. So Walters takes the tap. Turns it back over there to Lomax. Lomax well wrapped up. Coming half Walters again. Ponji at this time. Six all is the score. Daly. Inside again to Meninga. They've done that about the last three set plays like that. And Stewart on the left-hand side of the field. Now Daly. Swings it away to Bradley Clyde. Clyde trying to get away to Nadruku, but deciding to go to ground with it. There's still plenty of tackles up their sleeve and a lot of pressure to come. This is Belcher. Oh, Gilmeister. Talk about taking the legs from underneath you. Lost the ball, lost a lot. He came out in the press this week and said he was going to lead the way in defence and he's certainly not letting his team down today. Let's have another look at this one. Have a look at this. Wishka. Trevor Gilmeister special. And Peter Ryan over the top too. Coming soon to win television. It was the frontier. She came to the Wild West. A place where people made new beginnings. No one around here has ever heard of a lady doctor. Where prejudice ignites rage. A place where my services would be needed. If you're going to survive, you better learn to make it on your where own. my skills would be appreciated. Jane Seymour stars in the movie late premiere. Where I would finally... There's 20 men to every woman. Really? Yep. Be accepted as a doctor. You won't take no for an answer. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. Coming soon to win television. If you're feeling hungry for pizza to go, here's a little number you really ought to know. One, three, one, one, three, oh. There's only one number you need to know. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Pick up your phone and dial Jacko. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Camera's pizza paper. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Jacko. One, three, one, one, three, oh.
are the performers and the top gas appliance center for you. Master Gas Fitters are offering the Vulcan Powerhouse Gas Ducted Heating System on interest-free terms. Buy now and pay no deposit on three months interest-free terms and just 20% deposit on six months interest-free terms. Offer is limited, so warm up now with Vulcan Powerhouse. Master Gas Fitters are the performers and the top gas appliance center for you. For smoother differential operation, you need the specialists in diff treatments. Southern Differentials are the true diff specialists because they have Canberra's only lapping and testing machine and they offer same-day service. Even for the roughest conditions, Southern Differentials carry 4x4 limited slip diffs and custom modifications. To keep your car on the road and running, Southern Differentials also carry a large range of exchange and rebuilds. Southern Differentials, for smooth, quiet diff operation. See the specialists in Phillip, just near the motor registry. Langer lines up at the scrum. Oh. And a big run coming up over there, but plenty of support. Mickey Hancock loves the heavy stuff. This is Peter Ryan. Walters. Lazarus. Tackler underneath was Croker. The man over the top was Lomax. Away from dummy half, Walters. Almost to the halfway mark before Ricky Stewart comes in with the tackle. Now Langer to Walters. On the bounce out there to Willie Carmel. They've sent him all sorts of tasks today. But he almost got away from Hoppy, but he's going to be wrapped up. Croker was over there also. Alan Langer. Langer getting it outside. The little chip kick coming in. Back there is Mal Meninga. Canberra end up with possession. O'Neill was hot to trot to get after it. So now it goes to Ferner. It's important Brisbane don't give a penalty away here and uh, keep the pressure right on Canberra in their own 20 metre zone. So away from dummy half is Hoppy. Walters. Stewart. Daly. Puts the kick in. Little bit of indecision again, I feel, on that occasion. Nadruku is flying through after it, takes it on the toe. O'Neill's going for it. Nadruku can't get it. O'Neill will come away with it. Well, there's plenty of pressure again. Nadruku swooped through after that ball. Yeah, once again, Laurie Daly had his back line up really flat. And uh, Nadruku, as we see here, Nadruku beating Michael Hancock to the ball. And uh, the Brisbane's... Uh, to you know, needle take the ball. So a penalty ensuing here for the Broncos. And they try it off the field. Osborne on. Paul Osborne comes on for Bradley Clyde in the Canberra lineup as the Broncos take it up with Alan Can. Can trying to find his way, fight his way through, but Osborne, who's just come onto the field, was the man to bring off the tackle. Lomax takes on Big Glenn Lazarus. Six points all, the score. Walters, dummies, tries to find a way through, but the tackler there will be his brother Steve. Back to Langer, outside to Gilmeister, straight ahead. Laurie Daly's there on the tackle. So too is Ferner. Oh, Peter Ryan ended up with it. I think Alan Langer was supposed to get it. Over the top, Willie Card. Go back and have a try at that one, Willie. Gee, they, they mustn't like him. He must have money or something. Belcher takes it coming across field. Is that passes over the top, behind, all over the place? I don't think William mind too much. He had a game he'd rather forget last week, and uh, it's great to see him involved today. So now it's Canberra. You see a great take there by Gary Belcher. Skillful play. Canberra in possession. Big tackle coming in there on Boyle. It was Gilmeister again. Stewart back inside the daily. Three Broncos defenders there to take him, though. Ball down the air. Back to Stewart. Big high one. Mick Hancock. Nadruku from the clouds, but lost it. Then regathered. That's a handover. Ran off. Right on the 20-metre mark. 
obviously a great take by Nadrupi. The lively player. He sure is. Little Fiji and Black. Very nimble. Okay. Lost the ball. Canberra's ball. More pressure coming up. Stewart. Oh, dearie me. That's going to be forward. Crowd agrees. So does referee McCallum. Bit of a let off there for the Broncos. Yes, that's it. As we see here, Ricky Stewart with the old flick pass, just uh, travelling a little bit forward to uh, to Ferner. A little bit. Halfway to the Gold Coast. In by Langer. Wilders. Now the long one to Willie Khan. A little bit of room to move. Can he step up? Uh, Hoppy, no, he can't. Hoppy comes in and takes him, ball and all. John's back to Madison. Maddo with the head down, trying to burrow his way through. Osborne was the man underneath. Gilmeister. Coming half, Walters. Lazarus. Up over the 50 metre mark. He's had a great first half, hasn't he? So is this fella, Alan Can. Never say die, Alan Can. 40 metres out from the Canberra line. Last tackle looked at Wilson, just right out wide. Walters to Langer. Langer puts it up high. Right off the side of the boot, actually. Yeah. Willie Khan comes away with it. Play on, says the ref. Now a kick through, and it's going to find touch down there. coming across from the far wing. This is Boyle. Working across field. Almost broke out of Renault's tackle. On to Osborne. Turns it back inside to Meninga. The big pass up to the halfway mark. O'Neill coming across. He'll have a guard him. He sends it back inside to Nadruku. Nadruku stepping around the place. Renault comes at him. And a beautiful tackle by Renault. Knocks him over 18 metres out. But there's still plenty of pressure coming up here. Osborne swings it away to Walters. Walters looks one way, then the other. And eventually is in the touch a couple of metres out. Desperation stuff. Yeah, I think Brisbane want to uh, buy Stephen Ruth a beer after that. He come up with a great tackle on Nadruku. And then, of course, he, he just uh, just put Stevie Walters into touch. You see Steve come across. It was a bit just of Just in the touch. Bit of an effort to get him there. Chris Johns knows he's very close to sideline, tosses the ball back inside. Another great take by Willie Khan. He's earned his pay today. He sure has. So that's Terry Madison with it now. Only seconds remaining in this first half of what has been a great game of rugby league. Here's Alan Langer. And looking around to try and set it back inside as Kevin Walters was coming through, but he couldn't get away to well, couldn't get away to him. Garrett Walters, Kevin Walters, Johns, Alan Khan. Can put down. Last throw of the dice coming up. It's not. That's it. It's all over. It's half time. Brisbane are six. The Canberra Raiders are six here at ANZ Stadium. Being a cop is tough work. Outside now. But somebody's got to do it. I'd like to go on assignment. 
Narconics. Pizza. The Commish. Call the police commissioner! He gets the job done. State your business. Mind your own. Any way he can. You want I should put out a warrant for Mother Teresa? <laughs> the sensational police drama is back. Move it! In all new episodes. I'm gonna get him if it kills me. Tony! It's just a figure of speech, honey. The Commish, 7.30 Wednesday on Win. Are you thinking of building a new home? Think California Kid Homes, a division of Masterton Homes. Winners of the 91-92 HIA Best Home Award. California Kid Homes are now in Canberra and will deliver these beautiful homes anywhere in Canberra and southeastern New South Wales. You can build it yourself. Everything is included, even the kitchen, the whole Nebel kitchen. And the best news is you don't have to do all the work yourself. We can erect and finish your dream home and still save you money. California Kid Homes, phone us on 280 -4412. I'm a working gay man, I'm a working gay man, I do the best that I can, I'm a working gay man, work, work, I'm a working gay man, work, work, I'm a working gay man, work, work, I'm a working gay man. If you're feeling hungry for pizza to go, here's a little number you really ought to know. One three one one three zero. There's only one number you need to know. One three one one three zero. Pick up your phone and dial Jacko. One three one one three zero. Camera's pizza paper. One three one one three zero. Hello, Jacko. One three one one three zero. The Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System is so intelligent, it adapts to your family's needs and your family's family needs. Because now, you can tell it which parts of your home to heat when you need it, and which parts of your home to heat when your family and their family needs it. Don't change your lifestyle. Change your heater to an intelligent Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System. Frawley's put feet first this footy season with football boots by Stingray, Puma and Mitre from as low as $29.95. Select your football boots from Frawley's and you could win one of our 45 autographed Mal Meninga footballs. For after the game, Frawley's have the latest look hiking and bushwalking boots for men, women and the kids, all just $59.95. Play the game to win. Support the local team and head straight to your nearest Frawley store. Remember, the name of the game this season is Frawley's. The people who put feet first. Welcome back to ANZ Stadium. Let's have a look at the stats coming up out of the first half of this match. In total tackles, Broncos 75, Canberra 83. So they've really had to defend out there. But missed tackles, Broncos 15 as opposed to Canberra's 10. Uh, handling errors, Broncos have lost it on seven occasions, three times on the second tackle. So that tells a story. But overall, you see the stats there. The scoreline is a beauty. Six all at the moment. So the restart of play in the second half of this match. And from the kickoff, taken back there by Stewart. Stewart in turn gets it away to Hoppy. And Hoppy brings it up to just on the 20 metre mark. Now the news from the dressing room at the half time, Bradley Clyde is off the field and will remain off, has ligament troublance in his left knee. So he just can't get a, get a run on this poor fella. And the reserve grade result coming up right now. The Broncos took it out by 24 to 20. Canberra led by 16 to eight at half time. So it was a great second half. And the good news there also is that Paul Hoff got in for three tries and had two others disallowed. So the big fella's really found his form and found his confidence. Yeah, great to see him back, the big fella. So now it's Broncos in possession. 12 metres short of the halfway mark. Six points all as we start off this second half of the match. It's been a great game of football, Gene. Yeah, it certainly has. It's great to see Brisbane throwing the ball around. And I, I think just uh, Wayne Bennett might have said at half time, just cut out the unforced errors in their own 20 metre zone. Well, as we said of those uh, stats a short time ago, Losing the ball on three occasions uh, on the second tackle. Makes it very hard on yourself. Particularly against a side like Canberra. You betcha. So they work it up to the halfway mark now. Terry Madison. Out of one tackle. Starts to go. Unloads it this time to Kieran Walters. Walters outside to Langer. Langer props back. It goes then to Walters again. He in turn gets it to Kevin Walters. Over the top it goes to Mark Hone. Hone will be knocked over in the tackle though this time by Pongia. Langer, 
skirting across field, still going. There's the little kick. Taken back there by Hoppy. Langer comes out. He puts him down on the 20 metre mark. Good kick and chase game by the halfback. And the crowd love it too. That's Lomax. Wallace from dummy half. Gets it out this side to Lowry, the reserve grader on the field. He's on there for Fernand. So that's Osborne. Brisbane need to put pressure on Stewart here with uh, not allowed the long kick. Taking it up is Lomax. Looking to unload. He's a big, tough customer, this Lomax. There's Stewart with the kick now. Taken by Willie Khan. Working right across field is Khan. Got away from the first up tackle of Boyle. Now he gets it away to Renoff. A bit of room to move and away he goes. Renoff up to the halfway mark. Got away from Osborne's tackle, but eventually coming in to get him over there was Ndruku. Big numbers out to the right. So they get it going out there too. Alan Langer. Oh, Johns picks it up as it came skirting across field. Still going this Johns. Getting up to that 20 metre mark before he's going to be knocked down with a tackle and held there too. Six more tackles. Meninga holding on to him. Out it goes to Langer. Juggles it a bit now. Dummy's trying to find a way through the centre there but can't. Walters to Dummy half. Great chance for the Broncos now. This will test the Canberra defence. Walters sends it out to Gilmeister. Gilmeister's wrapped up. Tackler on that occasion. Getting around was Boyle. Back it comes to Gilmeister. Gilmeister straight ahead. Now, oh, it's going to be knocked down by Walters. He had that out about three, three or four metres away from it before he got it. He had a chance gone begging there. Yeah, great opportunity there for Brisbane. It's just unfortunate. They just, just tried to push the pass just a little bit. We see Gilly make half a break, try and pop the ball over the top. Carrot having a look where he's going to pass it before he actually caught it. So it's Ricky Stewart. Feeds the scrum. Away to Belcher. Belcher out the open side. Madison breaking across. O'Neill in the tackle also. Meninga. Out then to Pongia. Driven back in the tackle. That was good work. Peter Ryan in there. Hoppy. Good work again. They're keeping them down there inside their own quarter. Now Osborne. Up the centre for the big fella. He makes it to that 20 metre mark. Walters is dummy hard. Away then to Lomax. Madison came in underneath. Over the top was Ryan. Stewart drops. Got away from Ryan. Still going. Now he passes it. Osborne's got to be the man to put the kick in. Good pressure, Brisbane. Willie Khan. Plenty of green in front of him, I can tell you that. Hoppy comes in from the wing. Croker's there also. Lang is the dummy half. Bounces to Wallace. There's plenty of chance out here. O'Neill sends it away this time to Hancock. Hancock straight up at Nadruku. Nadruku trying desperately to get him in the touch. Great front on defence, Nadruku. Tell you what, he's been pretty impressive, this fella. That's O'Neill. Tackler is Larry. Walters. Over to Lazarus. Had a big first half and following it up now. Still going as Lazarus up to the 20 metre line. That's what they need. They've got the camera on the back foot now. They sure have, and if they spin it out, they'll have them under more pressure. Langer with it now, and it goes to Walters. Walters delays it nicely to Chris Johns. Johns flicks it back inside. Can't pick it up on the bounce. Can he get the ball down? That's the question. Referee having a good one. Hold up. No try. No try. Big Mal Meninga was the man to save it for Canberra. Didn't need his in-goal in touch judge then. McCallum was right on the ball. Well, See Johnsy flicks it back into Willie Cohn, well taken again. And Mel does very well here, holds him up uh, on his back and no try. Yeah, well, there's not much out about it either, was there? Because Meninga went straight in at that ball and was able to control it. But the good part about it is that uh, Brisbane do get the, the loose and the feed here, so it's a great opportunity to attack from the scrum. Injured player across over in centre field is Steve Walters. Brotherly love there, Kevin going over to check up on yeah. him. Yeah, I noticed Garrett isn't there. <laughs> Kevin's probably telling him to go off, look after himself. Plenty of blood coming from the nose. And so that was trying to stop Glenn Lazarus charging upfield there. Plenty of fire coming from the nose there. A little bit wobbly on the uh, on the legs also. Yes. So we see Jason Deeth. Deeth, a reserve grade hooker, come in. 
We watch the replay here. Lazo taking the ball forward. And they really... Really couldn't make much of it. No, you couldn't see much out of that. Meanwhile, the Broncos keep it going. From the play of the ball. It's Peter Ryan to play it. Back it goes to Madison. Madison trying to find a way through. Here's the chance for Broncos to put more pressure on this time. They need another four-pointer if they can get it. That'll give them a bit of space and put the pressure right on Canberra. Langer trying to find a way through, but Larry's there. There's a heap of them there. And they'll wrap him up only a couple of metres out. Walters from dummy half to Lazarus. He feeds it to Walters. Turns his back on uh, the tackler. And that was Pongia. Final tackle to O'Neill. He's going to hoist it up high. Bounces off Peter Ryan straight in the hands of Osborne. He'll go to ground with it. Well, Broncos have done everything in their second half but score a try. Yeah, I think they Wayne Bennett be disappointed in that set of six. They really did nothing. And, uh, and that, uh, that led to just more or less handing the ball over to Canberra. So this is Lowry. Deep is there as the dummy half. Doesn't know what to do with it. Decides to go himself. Belcher this time. Nice tackle. Ricky Stewart. Down there to O'Neill. Momentarily got away from him, but he regathered. Tackler coming around is David Boyle. So Renault to Hancock. Straight ahead. And he always fights for that extra metre or two, does Hancock. It's good to see the wingers involved today. Gilmeister. Up for the 50 metre mark and a penalty coming up. Well, here's one of those tackles again. I don't think there's much in it. Pongia just uh, initially hit around the shoulders, moving up to the head. And uh, really there's nothing in it. Here we see Gilly taking the ball up. Pongia hit it, hit on the shoulders and just slipped up nothing. Well, it's something that's um, holding up the game a lot. We saw it last week. Yes, and uh, unfortunately, the, the rule is here to stay. So now the Broncos to take the tap. 30 metres out from the Canberra line. Can they get there this time? Mark Hone. Up to the 20 metre mark now. Lazarus. Leading from the front. Madison, out to Walters, back inside to Johns, juggles, loses, back it goes to uh, Gilmeister, Gilmeister to Walters, Walters wrestled to the ground, a bit lucky to get away with that one. I thought that was touched by Cameron, unlucky not to get another six. So this is Gilmeister, 10 metres out, wrestled to the ground as a shoe flies through the air. Little knock on there. Well, they just seem destined not to make it over that line. Lucy Gilly struggling for that extra yard, trying to pop the ball out the back and uh, unfortunately going to ground. Thursday nights. Join Phil Small. Rugby League year 1993. It's underway. John Hobbs. Those guys must perform and then the rest of the team will follow. Steelers International Bob Linder. We'll go up there a lot better prepared this year. And Jeff Phillips. What are the goals for the Steelers in 1993? In an hour of interviews, player profiles and competitions in League Roundup. 10.30 Thursday nights on Win Television. Are you thinking of building a new home? Think California Kid Homes, a division of Masterton Homes. Winners of the 91-92 HIA Best Home Award. California Kid Homes are now in Canberra and will deliver these beautiful homes anywhere in Canberra and southeastern New South Wales. You can build it yourself. Everything is included, even the kitchen, the whole Nebel kitchen. And the best news is you don't have to do all the work yourself. We can erect and finish your dream home and still save you money. California Kid Homes, phone us on 280-4412. Frawley's put feet first this footy season with football boots by Stingray, Puma and Mitre from as low as $29.95. Select your football boots from Frawley's and you could win one of our 45 autographed Mal Meninga footballs. For after the game, Frawley's have the latest look hiking and bushwalking boots for men, women and the kids, all just $59.95. Play the game to win. Support the local team and head straight to your nearest Frawley store. Remember, the name of the game this season is Frawley's. The people who put feet first. Go. Yep. 
problems like this call for an original solution. Now this bloke's got common sense. You can tell by his strides and shirt. The original Australian King G drill. Made for people who don't mess around. Good fit and down to earth. They don't try to look good, so they do. The original King G drill. Made for people who don't mess around. The intelligent Falcon Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System is now even more efficient. Because now, you can tell it which parts of your home to heat when you need it, and which parts of your home to heat when your family needs it. Don't change your lifestyle. Change your heater to an intelligent Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System. For smoother differential operation, you need the specialists in diff treatments. Southern Differentials are the true diff specialists because they have Canberra's only lapping and testing machine and they offer same-day service. Even for the roughest conditions, Southern Differentials carry 4x4 limited slip diffs and custom modifications. To keep your car on the road and running, Southern Differentials also carry a large range of exchange and rebuilds. Southern Differentials, for smooth, quiet diff operation. See the specialists in Phillip, just near the motor registry. Stewart. Belcher outside to Daly. Daly gets it away this time to Boyle. Nadruku can't handle it. And they'll play the knock on. Great defence there by Brisbane. Canberra throwing the ball out wide at the uh, at the first opportunity. Had the numbers, but unfortunately, unfortunately Nadruku couldn't take it. We see Daly onto um, David Boyle who uh, puts it on to Nadruku. Unfortunately, couldn't take it. So great opportunity here for the Brisbane. Alan Langer feeds the scrum. 18 metres out from the Canberra line. Coming into it is Hancock. He'll be wrapped up, though, by Belcher. Madison from Dummy Half. Back to Peter Ryan. Forward pass is a referee. Well, they can't do anything right down there. Oh, they've had all the play this half, and uh, I think they need to put the football, as we see here, picking the ball up from Dummy Half. Oh, well. Not much in that, is there? But McCullum was in a good posse. So Stewart. Boyle plays it forward, decides to go himself. Deep is the dummy half. Tackle it up there as Walters. Stewart. Broker about to play it now. Osborne back inside to Lomax. Deeth to Stewart. Straight down there to Julian O'Neill. Takes it safely on the 20 metre mark. Decides to run it out. And run he does. Tries to get away from Laurie Daly. Nadruku came in also. Ran off from Dummy Half. Knocked it on. There's another one forced error in the Brisbane, in the Brisbane half. And they can ill afford to do this. Campbell will get a uh, go an extra leg here as we see Steve. Watching where he's going to run with it without the ball. So Ricky Stewart takes it out of the back of the scrum there. Daly, Belcher. Steve ran off the tackler. Meninga scoops it up one hand. Now starting to run nicely. The big fella moves it away this time to Hoppy. Hoppy's got to be tackled though. Put to the ground by Willie Khan. But Canberra putting on the pressure now. They've been doing mostly defence in their second half. That's Larry with it. Deeth, Stewart, back the other way to Osborne. Outside of Belcher, Belcher to Meninga. Meninga gets on, it's going to be lost. Hoppy forced it in the end goal. But it's uh, a knock on over there. With a touch of you coming up to have a touch, ch chat to the touch judge. Plenty of advice coming up to them. Brisbane feed. See Osborne here onto Belcher. Belcher onto Meninga. Meninga onto uh, Boyle, it was there. Boyle. And uh, great tackle for Lazarus. He's everywhere today. So now, Willie Khan.
Chris Johns runs into Lomax, takes him with a bit of help from Osborne. Lazarus. from the wing. It's the 20 metre line you can see there. Daly. Dwanga. Quick hands coming outside to Hoppy. Hoppy's starting to move. Johns is coming at him. He gets away from it but he put him off balance and he's got to be claimed. 40, 30 metres out now. Willie Carter arrived on the scene. Meninga turning it one way. Still going though. Crashed over but a penalty coming up to Canberra. Peter Ryan just running back into position there. I think he'd done the right thing. Be the right thing if they get two points out of it. Come on, have a look. See, Hoppy down the sideline. Chris Johns makes a great tackle, ankle tap at least. Puts him off balance. Willie, Willie Khan just finishing the tackle off. And we see a bit of work there. Yeah. So it's six points all at the moment. roll their sleeves up here and do the hard work. So that's Gilmeister. Alan Can. Madison O'Neill. Well wrapped up though. Melbourne Inga the tackler. Madison. Down to Belcher. Over the 20 metre line. Going to be taken, however, in the tackle of Khan and also Chris Jones. So this is Hoppy. Gilmore, he got away from Gilly. Actually, Mark Hone came in there. Wallace is back onto the field. That's Lomax playing the ball. Lowry, minus one boot. There have been a few boots flying off out there today. Kick down field by Ricky Stewart. It is going to find touch. Score at this stage, six points all at ANZ Stadium. Television, still the one for sport.
cricket, tennis, 500cc, baseball, golf, league, IndyCar. The big names and events coming to you like never before. Win Television's one and only wide world of sports. Frawley's put feet first this footy season with football boots by Stingray, Puma and Mitre from as low as $29.95. Select your football boots from Frawley's and you could win one of our 45 autographed Mal Meninga footballs. For after the game, Frawley's have the latest look hiking and bushwalking boots for men, women and the kids, all just $59.95. Play the game to win. Support the local team and head straight to your nearest Frawley store. Remember, the name of the game this season is Frawley's. The people who put feet first. If you're feeling hungry for pizza to go, here's a little number you really ought to know. One, three, one, There's only one number you need to know. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Pick up your phone and dial Jacko. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Camera's pizza, pizza. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Jacko. One, three, one, one, three, oh. Fit any shape and situation. <laughs> King G overalls. If they were any tougher, they'd rust. Are you thinking of building a new home? Think California Kid Homes, a division of Masterton Homes. Winners of the 91-92 HIA Best Home Award. California Kid Homes are now in Canberra and will deliver these beautiful homes anywhere in Canberra and southeastern New South Wales. You can build it yourself. Everything is included, even the kitchen, the whole Nebel kitchen. And the best news is you don't have to do all the work yourself. We can erect and finish your dream home and still save you money. California Kid Homes, phone us on 280 -4412. Master Gas Fitters are the performers and the top gas supply incentive for you. Master Gas Fitters are offering the Vulcan Powerhouse Gas Ducted Heating System on interest-free terms. Buy now and pay no deposit on three months interest-free terms and just 20% deposit on six months interest-free terms. Offer is limited, so warm up now with Vulcan Powerhouse. Master Gas Fitters are the performers and the top gas supply incentive for you. meters out. Langer feeds the scrum 30 meters out from the Broncos line. Kevin Walters gets it away to O'Neill into the back line. Back on to Renault. Renault with a bit of a gap. There he goes. He's cutting up towards that foot halfway mark. Slipped out of Madruku's tackle who eventually punches the one to put him down. And another boot flying on the ground. And a penalty coming up out of the Broncos. Holding the man down. And makes the crowd happy. I don't see the difference in that tackle and the one that Ricky Stewart was penalised and put in the sin bin for 10 minutes previously. See, Julian O'Neill, great ball to Steve Renew. Steve, elusive as ever, beats the new crew tackle. He goes on Belcher, finishes him off. Fortunately, finishes him off a little bit too well. As we see Boyle come in. So that's Gilmeister taking it up. They're 15 metres out now, the Broncos, looking for that elusive second half try. They've had plenty of goes at it, but haven't been able to pull it off. Can they do it this time? Still deadlocked at 6 all. Back to Walters. Walters gets it away to O'Neill. O'Neill trying to find a way through, but is put down. Boyle over there, and so too is Daly. So back to Langer. Langer to Walters. Walters dummies. Held up in the tackle by Larry. Walters again goes himself. Trying to fend away a couple of tackles. Tackle of Pongia. Madison, Peter Ryan. Ryan getting oh so close, it's the final tackle. It is the final tackle. So a handover right underneath the goalposts. So now the pressure for Canberra to get it away from there. Poppy from dummy half. 
Steve Wilders. Cross over there to Pongia. Just short of the 20 metre mark. Wilders back then to Osborne. Wilders again. Lomax. Straight over the top of Gilmeister. Looking for support but couldn't get it away. Not too many run over the top of Gilly. There's a kick through by Stewart. Taken by Hancock. He's going to go for the run across field. Stop. Cross. Now straightens up to the halfway mark. Coming half, Walters. Langer. Trying to get away from the tackle, but can't. He's going to be locked up by Croker. This is Mark Hone. Straight up the centre. Forced back a metre or so, though, on the tackle. That's Lomax and Osborne, the two front rowers. Alan Can Broke out of one tackle, broke out of another one. Eventually going to be wrapped up, 22 metres out. Great step off the left foot. Dummy half is Walters. Back to Langer. Langer working across field. There's a kick high in the air. It's going to be knocked into touch over the ball line. Well, Johnny Plath coming through. That's a great option to do. Canberra used... Canberra used a sliding defence. Oh, well... Uh, electing to go in the air and uh, it's going to result in we get another six tackles and uh, another crack of the camera. As you see, Langer take it across field, put the ball in the air. It's a great weighted kick right in the end goal area. And, uh, Bell, uh, Stewart, sorry. Stewart uh, managed to get a hand to it, so they'll be forced to drop out from underneath their pace. So that was Johnny Plath appearing on the scene. He takes the place of uh, Kevin Walters. And Lazarus is on for home. As Canberra drop out from underneath the goal now. Well, eventually they will. They're taking plenty of time. Ricky Stewart. Down to Plath. Across then to O'Neill. O'Neill having a bit of a run. Can't get away from the tackle of Boyle, though. Back to Madison. Walters. Lazarus. Unloads it nicely. Gilmeister. Put to the ground of the tackle of Croker. They work the blind side. Alan Langer's out there. He pops. He tries to get around Laurie Daly. Hurt in the tackle a bit too. Slow to play the ball, Alan Langer. This is Plath. Now he gets it back to Alan Can. Walters, they work the blind side again. Over the top. On a Hancock. He's still going as Vicky Hancock. He's only about a metre or so from the line. Once again, it's a turnover. Just haven't been able to get there. Going to be a penalty camera. I think Kirib was a little bit hard done by there. I think he seized the opportunity, saw there was no, uh, no dummy half and uh, decided to dive through. And As you see, Belcher plays the ball. It's not a dummy half in sight. Then all of a sudden, Boyle appeals on the scene. So Canberra take the tap. 16 metres from their own line. Osborne. Well, there's six, still, still six points all. That's Meninga. Unloads it. Turner playing it back. And that is Larry. <laughs> Another boot goes west. They must have tied him up out there today. So. Players coming off left, right and centre. It's Lomax. So the kick downfield by Stewart. O'Neill. Trying to get on the outside of Mullins. Ian Nadruku trying to force him into touch also. Renoff. Hancock. Eventually Boyle puts him over. Peter Ryan. Out to the halfway mark. Making some good yardage. Now Alan Langer with it. John Platt. Johns. Got away from Meninga. Back inside to Platt. Back going solidly. He gets it away then to Willie Kahn. Kahn props. Cuts inside away from a couple of eventually. Croker's going to be the man to knock him over. 22 metres out. Pressure building up now. This is Madison. He in turn sets it away to Gilmeister. Gilmeister knocked over. Crowd coming along with a final tackle on its way. Still it's locked up at six. All as Langer takes it over there. Now he gets it to Renoff. Renoff props. Can he get it back to Langer? 
trying it. Yes, he can. The ball rolls loose. Going to be picked up by Belcher. Brisbane's throwing everything at Canberra, and Canberra's had the answer so far that their sliding defence needs to nullify the Brisbane attack. Look at what they've done. They've been in a game of football. That's about all they've done in their second half. I can remember one occasion they've been inside the Broncos' 20-metre line, and that's about it. Now it's going to be lost by Larry straight in the hands of Wilder as well. This gets it away to Johnny Plath. Plath coming his way through. He scores! Johnny Plath over underneath the post. And the Broncos hit the lead by 10 points to 6. Great work, Johnny Plath. Well, let's have another look at it. Plathy will be as happy as Larry with that one. Master stroke by Wayne Bennett. Bring John Plath on to add some enthusiasm. As we see here, the Canberra player knocking it on. Carrot Wilder's picking it up putting Johnny Platt into a little gap does very well he beats the tackle of Meninga and Stewart and away he goes great work Johnny Platt he deserves a try well the crowd have been running a long time for it and here it comes just the mistake that's all the difference between these two teams one vital mistake allowed them to come away with possession and allowed uh, John Platt to score underneath the post why not have another look Gino we've been waiting a while for us Kerry Walters Johnny on the spot does very well puts him through the gap again Plathy pushes off Mel Malinga. Jesus, will tell that story a few times tonight. I'll tell you what, there'll be a few powers going down with him. I'm not real happy here. <laughs> he's a great little competitor, is Johnny Platt. Certainly is. And great to see him get his opportunity in first grade. He's been putting pressure on the uh, on the inside backs of the, of the first grade squad. And it's just unfortunate that he has players of the colour of uh, Alan Langer and Kevy Walters in front of him. So Terry Madison looking for the extras. He's dead set in front. I reckon I could kick this one, Gino. <laughs> as long as Madison does, that's all that matters, I guess. Which he does, no trouble. And the Broncos open up a lead of 12 points to six. Tuesday night, you'll be head over heels with laughter. 7.30 Funniest Home Videos. It's a hoot. Ben and Ace. was just worried about what to cook. Huh? I'd be more worried about eating it. <laughs> it's all new. It's all together now. Matt's a vegan. Well, like Mr. Scott. At 8.30. This is some sort of sick Scottish humour thing, right? Billy. No, you're thinking of golf. Then at 9. It's a steak, baby. I love you. It's Married with Children. Wins unbeatable night of comedy. 7.30 Tuesday. The Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System is so intelligent, it adapts to your family's needs and your family's family needs. Because now, you can tell it which parts of your home to heat when you need it, and which parts of your home to heat when your family and their family needs it. Don't change your lifestyle. Change your heater to an intelligent Vulcan Powerhouse Eco Natural Gas Ducted Heating System. Look what's new from Peyton's. This winter, it's Peyton's famous totem in new spray dye colour effect. Look how the colour creates the pattern. Colour is again the feature in Peyton's luxurious mohair mirage. And there are eight exclusive shades to choose from. For that chunky outdoor look, there's new Norspun, 12 ply and quick to knit. And my Peyton Chantel jumper is so soft and feminine and comes in a tempting range of pastels. With Peyton's, you can say, I've made it myself. Look what's new from... Gordon Valley Homes takes environmental responsibility seriously. So do their suppliers. You'll find Westinghouse natural gas appliances inside Gordon Valley Homes. Westinghouse appliances, suppliers of wall ovens and cooktops to Gordon Valley. Westinghouse, an industry leader. Gordon Valley is also proudly supplied by Glenroy Roof Trusses, a well-established company supplying high-quality engineered roof trusses. Glenroy's prompt, efficient service places them above the rest. Remember, Glenroy. Monia, top cat in roof tiles. The top tile for Gordon Valley homes. Monero Mix is another of Gordon Valley's environmentally conscious suppliers. With high-grade concrete mixes available on request, 
the future in concrete is here. And Monero Mix are paving the way. Gordon Valley Homes, building a better environment. Stood attack after attack. Yeah, it was just a, just a matter of time before the Broncos actually broke their line of defence up. It's important for the Broncos here to see out this six, put a big kick uh, down the field, have a good chasing team, and keep Canberra where they've been all half in, pinned inside their own half. Here's Blacker Gamble behind Renoff on that occasion. Crowd really coming alive now. They've been waiting for a while to get something to cheer about. Madison got away from the Drew Boo coming up to Daly on the 50 metre mark. We see Matter beating the tackle of Laurie Dale, spinning out of it, giving the ball to Kerrin, just tiptoeing along the touchline there, just a little bit too close. Stewart with it, back to Laurie Daly. Belcher into the back line. The swarming Broncos defence up there. And they want to lock them up from here on in, Gino. Yeah, they certainly do. If any team's oh. capable of hitting back, it's, uh, it's a canvas so like if I tackle like Peter Ryan, put that one on there. This is Boyle. Underneath was Ryan again. Once again, Form has great. It, it's a great move by Wayne Bennett to bring uh, Peter Ryan into the game. He adds a lot of enthusiasm along with John Player. Osborne and Meninga, they're not quite sure where they're going at the moment, Canberra. Ferner does so, he breaks away. He's got O'Neill in front of him, he's got Hoppy outside. What does he do? Takes on O'Neill, and Willie Khan comes in, they lock him up. Big numbers to the right, Canberra. Hoppy goes on the left, though, and it's going to be wrapped up. Final tackle. Here it is, with Bobbers coming up as a dummy half. What will they do with it? Stewart sends a big long one over there to Meninga. He in turn to Belcher. Belcher outside to Daly. Daly breaks out of one tackle, tries to get the pass back inside. Yeah. And that'll be the turnover. Good scrambling defence, Brisbane. Yeah, they, um, they were in trouble when Turner breaks through. Canberra certainly had the numbers on them out wide there. One wonders whether that was the option to take um, the fullback on. Too late now, of course. Play forward by Lazarus. He in turn gets it back to Walters. Walters looking for support. There's no one at home, so he goes to ground with it. Langer dummy half. Works the blind side to Madison. The Druku puts him to ground. Ran off again as dummy half. Heard a bit of that tackle, Madison. This is Langer. Almost through. The group who grabbed him by the collar and said, get back here, little fella. Now to O'Neill. Oh, straight to Hoppy. Straight in the hands of the winger. Ian Turner's grabbed over there by Willie Carr, but gets it back to Meninga. Meninga in turn with a pass outside. Belcher going to ground with it. Meninga again. Cross over there to Lowry. He's wrapped up, though. Alan Cann, the lead-off tackler. Steve Alders. Over to Ferner. He's put down this time. Okay. Alan Cann, what a ripper. Right on the halfway mark. So that's Boyle. Broncos lead by 12 points to six. Osborne turned his back. Now he gets a pass away. Steve Alders. Plath tackling. Went after him. The final tackle's coming up now. Crowd giving the referee a bit of a hurry up on that one. Claimed he was held the first time. Daly with a little chip kick through. He can't regather. Lazarus goes back and dies on it. That'll be the turnover. 46,001 people out here this afternoon. After 50 odd thousand, 51 and a half last week. So the crowd's really turning out. They've had their money's worth today. Yeah, they certainly have, and they've had a lot to cheer for. So now. Broncos with a lead of 12 to 6. I'll cheer even more if they can come away with a win here. Two vital points in the Winfield Cup ladder if they can get away with it today. That's Peter Ryan. Not a lot of fancy stuff down there. Ball security of the highest level now. Alan Can. Walters back 
to Langer. Puts it downfield. Well placed kick by Alan Langer. Back into the end goal. That's a great kick. Well weighted. Beautiful. Melcher takes it. But the defence is up very quickly because they had a lot of time to get there. And pin him down about 10 metres out from his own line. Great kick, Alan Langer. Kicked away from Gary Belcher, which is very unusual for uh, for any kicker in the game. Made him work for it. Ladruku eventually put down. He's had a solid game for Canberra today, this Ladruku. Hey, limited experience in rugby league, coming from a rugby background, rugby union. So, Ricky Stewart. Ferner flicks it out the back, goes in the hands of Wallace, the referee says play on. So this is Osborne to Meninga, outside to Hoppy. Hoppy, they can't get him into touch. He did well to stay in the field of play. Two to one on that occasion. Back to Stewart. Now a big long one. This is Laurie Daly. He kicks knocked down by Flath. Flies on top of it. Keeps through himself at that ball then. Madison from dummy half. Out to Renault. Renault starts to move. Gets up to the 30 metre mark before he's put down. Nadruku, the tackler. Dummy half is Hancock. Lost his footing. And the crowd's starting to rev up again as Madison comes up as dummy half. They want more this lot. Lazarus. Lazarus loses it. Going to be taken back there by Belcher. Belcher get back behind. The man there is Mullins. Broncos lead is 12 to 6. Taken up there is Larry. Or rather Boyle that time. Boyle of bad. Stewart, Daly. And a big tackle coming in this time as Mullins goes to ground. So from the play of the ball, Canberra bottled up by the Bronco defence. I think they're feeling the pinch too. It's a pretty warm day here in Brisbane today. Yeah, looking very fatigued at the moment. Stewart's trying to uh, trying to get him going forward, but it's just a lack of runners. Well, they've had a tough two, haven't they? They've had to defend desperately in this second half. Belcher turning it back inside. There's a speculator over the top. Stuart Belcher goes to Osborne. Now to Daly. Taken by Willie Khan. Khan up the centre. Got away from Croker's tackle. Out of the next one. Osborne wraps him up. So now it's Chris Johns to Lazarus. Lazarus up the middle there. But He's had a mighty game. Hasn't he had a big one? to Langer. Slip, then got up. Now to Lazarus. As I said, not me again, I've just done a bit. But he doesn't check the job either. Walters. Now to Madison. Madison's stepped away from Oh, see you later. How's that for a day and argue? Langer gets it out the back. Platt, John tries to flick it behind. Hancock picks up. Hancock away to Willie Khan. Khan with a little kick over the top. But Stewart will send it back inside him from the touchline, Hoppy with it now. He'll send it back over there to Croker. Well, they're not giving up, Canberra. <laughs> Exciting football. Both teams willing to throw the ball around. This is what rugby league's all about. Great match. Daly with it again. Probably. Outside to Belcher. Men around over there. This is Mullins on the go now. O'Neill coming across. He sends it back inside to Belcher. O'Neill comes to Belcher over the top to the Druku. Reynolds out after him. Can he get him out? Oh, pull him down and Steve Reynolds. Two try stopping tackles in this batch today, but it's not all over yet. Belcher goes to blind side back to Nadruku. Nadruku trying to get to that line. He's over that line, and it is a try. No try. He looked, he stopped, he was about to give it, and then he's changed his mind. Turnover. Well, turnover, turn it up, that's what I say. Oh, it's a try. Is he giving a try? It's a try. Yeah, he has given a try. Then Nadruku. Yeah, try, all right. Try. I think, uh, I think Gary Belcher should, uh, should take a lot of credit for this try. It's a great flick pass inside to Nadruku, who done the rest. We see Belcher take off from dummy half, sideline warning, and back to Nadruku. Evades the tackle of three Brisbane players and puts the ball over the line. Well, let's have a look at it now. Susie Hoppy take off. Canberra keeping the ball alive to Stewart. He goes to ground. Now they're going to send it out to the right and let Lomax it go. Next to Daly, on to Belcher, who does very well. And to Mullins, who's just come back on the field after being injured. 
Back inside to Belcher. She's run out of pace. Back to Nadruku. Great tackle here by Stephen Ruth. Try saving tackle. Nadruku does the right thing. Gets up and plays the ball very quickly. Belcher takes off to the blind side. Runs out of room. Flicks the ball back into Nadruku. Who does extremely well. Caught on the line then. Puts the ball over. Well, let's see whether David Ferner can get the two points to equalise. The crowd will give them a nice old rev up from the far side of the ground. All over the ground, as a matter of fact. Ferner taking his time. Trying not to be phased by 40-odd thousand people giving it to him. Here's a kick on its way. And it is waved away. Waved away. The crowd go wild. And the Broncos retain their lead of 12 points to 10. Somebody's got to do it. How'd you like to go on assignment? Narcotics? Pizza. The commish. Call the police commissioner! He gets the job done. State your business. Mind your own. Any way he can. You want I should put out a warrant for Mother Teresa? The sensational police drama is back. Move in! In all new episodes. I'm gonna get him if it kills me. Tony! It's just a figure of speech, honey. The commish, 7.30 Wednesday on Wynn. <laughs> to take us to the show block. Well, it's not crowded. It's not open. You can't even buy a show bag. This is the best value in a bag. You got them? At Lowe's! What you got? Track pants. Just the best value track pants in Australia. Puma, Adidas and Botany Bay Traders. 25, 30 bucks. All $19.99. They did this. Shaking it. Shaking it. Loose knit pullovers. Just arrived. 15 bucks. At Lowe's! Fantastic block. You think we can get a ride? No worries. <laughs> Introducing Capital Tower Apartments, Canberra's premier residential address, and now one of Australia's best investment opportunities. Canberra's best location, Capital Tower, is just a short stroll to the city heart and affords easy access to all that Canberra has to offer. From the moment you enter the magnificent foyer, you'll appreciate the quality and the prestige. Capital Tower offers a range of two and three bedroom luxury low maintenance apartments together with all the lifestyle amenities you could ever desire. Security is paramount at Capital Tower, with basement security parking, key card access, a resident manager and concierge. And now Capital Tower offers security of investment, with guaranteed rentals providing average returns of 14%. All this in one of Australia's most consistent property growth markets. Capital Tower Apartments, Canberra's premier address. Inspect today. Master gas fitters are the performers and the top gas supply incentive for you. Master Gas Fitters are offering the Vulcan Powerhouse Gas Ducted Heating System on interest-free terms. Buy now and pay no deposit on three months interest-free terms and just 20% deposit on six months interest-free terms. Offer is limited, so warm up now with Vulcan Powerhouse. Master Gas Fitters are the performers and the top gas supply incentive for you. They'll be in a hurry to come back to, uh, to kick off with. <laughs> I think you're entitled to take your time with two and a half minutes remaining. Greg McCallum told them to hurry up. Of course, they're obliging by walking faster. So the restart of play. Julian O'Neill buys it downfield. Sends it away to Meninga. Meninga to Daly. Daly outside to Ferner. Renoff is there. They force him back a couple of metres, but he takes him and then plays the ball. This is Osborne. Dummy half Walters to Daly. Daly outside to Stewart. Then away to Meninga. Meninga sending it back the other way to Belcher. Belcher looking for Nadruku. Nadruku tackled by Gilmeister. 
The axe hit him with a big one. Back to Osborne. He gets it away to Stewart. Stewart on then to Meninga. Props, which way to go? Doesn't know which way to go. Gets it to Walters. Walters going to be wrapped up. Meninga to dummy half. Broncos lead by the bare two points. It's 12 to 10. Gamba throwing everything at him. Well, they've got it. Time's running out. Osborne decides to have a run. Sends it back inside. Lose yes. the ball. in possession, one minute remaining in the match they've only got to take it up from here, that's Glenn Lazarus, dummy half is Walters Walters runs across field, now he straightens up but goes to the ground with a soft old tackle from his brother Steve, they're winding the clock down now a two point lead at the moment Mark Hone, Hone straight ahead Alan Langer to dummy half, 26 tight football players there they're doing, yeah they've given, the, given it their all today, it's been a great match, kick through there See, Langer put the ball over the top. Willie Card, sorry, Chris Johns must have been just in front of him. So now Canberra with it. In the last five seconds of the match, the crowd will count him down. Back it goes to Laurie Daly. Daly with a long, long, long run over the top. Meninga takes it. Meninga cutting up to the halfway mark. If ever you wanted a big finish, you've got it here. The ball's kicked through. Going back is Julian O'Neill. He'll see it back over the dead ball line. He'll take it in the touch in the end goal. tune of 12 points to 10. We mentioned about 26 players, or a few others out there too, like about 30 of them, and they've given us a, a tremendous match out here today. What a finish. Two of the best attacking sides in the competition. We certainly did see that side of the day, and uh, what a way for Brisbane to get back on the rails. Well, I think the thing out of it, Gene, is that the confidence will be back there now. Yeah, it certainly will. It's great to see uh, Glenn Lazarus back in form, and also Alan Langer willing to run the football, take the football to the line, and, uh, you know, we saw the best of him today, and uh, they're, uh, it's going to be very hard to pick that man of the match. Well, I'll let you think about that one. Thanks. Broncos man of the match award winner today out here is Big Prop. Glenn Lazarus had a great game, had them on the forward foot all the way, and uh, he gets away with the Sanyo 34 centimetre remote control colour television, and that is courtesy of Chandler's. Congratulations there to Glenn Lazarus. Let's have a look at the stats coming out of the match today. Have a look at Canberra's total tackles 166. They had to work like crazy to keep the Broncos out. 166, Broncos 151. Missed tackles pretty much the same. Errors 11 to the Broncos, 8 to Canberra. But a great game of rugby league. We trust you enjoyed tonight's coverage from the ANZ Stadium and we'll see you again next week for a big round five. From myself and Wynn Television, a very good night. This has been a Wynn Television Network sports presentation. This program proudly brought to you by Foley Shoes, Master Gas Fitters, California Kit Homes, Working Gear, Vulcan Chef and Jacko's Diner Pizza. Thursday, 7.30, experience great Aussie escapes and stunning overseas trips in getaway. Allow me to show you what I mean. Discover a host of holiday destinations and leisure activities. Yeah, you can swim with the dolphins. Sometimes the pressure gets too much and you just have to get away. Get away. 7.30 Thursday nights, only on Wind Television. It almost takes the skill of a bloodhound to find... Home Loan Centre is a one-stop home loan shop. You can take your time to chat with St George Home Loan Specialists, have a cup of coffee, look at award-winning house plans. They even mind the kids to make it really easy for you. And whoever your home loan's with at the moment, you should come in and check it out with the St George Look Ahead system. We just cut years off our loan and thousands of dollars. Come into the St George Home Loan Centre. That's 115 Canberra Avenue, Griffith, seven days a week. What a great idea. Proheart would just like to remind you why Stainmaster Extra Life Carpet is still the best. So when you come to weigh up the pros of a new carpet, don't be caught. Nobody can offer you a better guarantee. DuPont Stainmaster Extra Life. Still guaranteed to be the best. Beautiful. McDonald's presents the big one. Big on size. It's big on taste. The big one from McDonald's.
for a pound of juicy beef, baked tomatoes and lettuce, fresh onions, cheese and pickles, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Big on value, what a big bite. Big on what you really like. Get yourself a big big one. But you'd better hurry or you'll miss out. The big big one from McDonald's. Good evening, I'm Jo Hall. Investigations have been launched into separate amusement park incidents in two states. This afternoon, a man and five children were rushed to hospital after a freak accident at the Dandenong Show, southeast of Melbourne. Police say the six injured at the Dandenong Show were lucky to escape with their lives. The five children were in this air castle when it was hit by a freak gust. It just took off right up in the sky about 50 feet and it, and it tipped and all the kids fell out. A 24-year-old operator tried to stop it by grabbing a rope. He dangled from the castle, eventually falling onto the roof of the Dodgem cars. He had leg lacerations, the worst of the children's injuries, a fractured arm. And in the Sydney suburb of Campbelltown, five people were hurt when a section of a ride collapsed at an amusement park last night. Worst injured, Lee Falconer, with a double break in her leg. Just all of a sudden, we were talking and laughing, and next thing I was sitting there and I couldn't move. A mechanical fault is believed responsible. Nick McCallum, National 9 News. Five people will appear in a South Australian court tomorrow after the discovery of one of the country's biggest amphetamine factories. Following a tip-off from Victorian police, South Australian officers swooped on an isolated farmhouse northeast of Adelaide. Concealed in a large shed, a sophisticated laboratory police believe was capable of producing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of drugs. It, uh is very professional, it's uh, well structured and uh, obviously the people involved uh, knew what they were doing. The cards are being dealt and the roulette wheel is spinning at Australia's newest casino. The European style venue was officially opened in a glittering ceremony in Canberra last night and there were plenty of high rollers and political heavyweights in attendance. First nighters were also given the chance to win the opening game of roulette, a solid gold ball used to celebrate the occasion. That honour went to one of Canberra's most notable former residents. Sport and the West Indies are within sight of the Australian 11's first innings total in their four-day match in Hobart. At Stumps on day two, the tourists were 4 for 254. The Australians finished with 341. Steve Waugh falling just five runs short of his century. In reply, the Windies openers tore into the attack, Phil Simmons scoring 106. Just like that. And in golf, Brett Ogle has successfully defended his South Australian Open title at Royal Adelaide. In a tight finish, Ogle shot a final round 69, beating fellow New South Welshman Craig Warren by one shot. Now looking at tomorrow's weather and a fine Monday coming up for Brisbane, Sydney and Darwin, mainly fine in Melbourne and Perth, while Adelaide is expecting a late thundery shower. That's the news for now. Until I see you again, good night. has been a National 9 News presentation. Ladies of the night. Something way over your head. I want to help him, all right? Involved in murder, oh scandal. What about the money? You'll have a deal. And revenge. Live living here in Hawaii with Robin Hood. Tuesday, 9.30 on Win. The following movie contains scenes and language that can only be screened for late night viewing. Channel 9 warns viewers, particularly parents, that this movie is strictly for adults only. Yeah, this is a 
first airport I haven't been searched in. I'm going to smuggle something into Amsterdam, man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> On behalf of the Amsterdam International Film Festival, heartfully welcome in Amsterdam, Mr. Bert Reynolds, and I hope you will have a very happy and lucky time. Uh, do you know if Miss Dolly Parton was on the plane? What? Oh, Dolly Parton was in the plane. Oh, no, I didn't see Dolly Parton. Was she on the plane? Oh, you, I have seen movies of you. You are in the movies. You are much taller than you are in real life. May I say, may I say Bert to you, Miss Reynolds? Thank you very much. What? May, uh, Maybe I say Mr. Bird or Mr. Reynolds, or maybe I say Bird or something like that. May I say Bird to you, Mr. Reynolds? Hey man, I'm not Bird Reynolds, man. You are not Bird. You are not Bird Reynolds. No, I'm Cheech, man. You this is Chang. We're Cheech and Chang, man. Hey, turn around, show me. Yeah, Cheech and Chang. See right there, man. Cheech and Chang. Who's this Oh, you are here under on the list, you see. Uh, Jack and Cheech. Mr. Cheech, yes, hey, listen, man, we gotta get out here. Where's the car? Oh, uh, there is a car waiting outside for Mrs. Dolly Parton and for Mr. Bert Reynolds. But, okay. uh, you, but you can have the van if you okay, want. Okay, you can, you can go well, outside. Well, and the reason is that yeah, you can take the van. Please, no more autographs, no more pictures. Thank you, thank you. It's lovely to be here. Take me to a dike. Thank you, thank you. There you go. I got a, a writer's cramp, man. Thanks anyway. Bye -bye. Hey, man, I think I'm gonna have to finally do it. Do what, man? I put scars all over my face, man. I'm getting too handsome, man. This guy thinks I'm Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I gotta give the other actors a chance. Well, I don't think you have to go to all that trouble, man. No? No. I think all you have to do is grow another big zit like the one you got right there. Where? Yeah. I got one on my nose? Yeah, a big yellow one. Oh, shit. Is it big? Yeah. Fuck, it looks like another nose, man. Oh, man. And if you really want to look ugly, just leave the booger hanging off your mustache there. Yeah. Right there? Is it off? Yeah, and if you really want to even oh, look man, ugly... Oh, man, shut up! <laughs> Oh, you were sitting here. No, because... This, this place is supposed to be for Dolly Parton and Bertrino, you know. Oh. Dolly Parton's supposed to be sitting here? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Let, me, let me clear up a place for her to sit down. <laughs> yeah, I ask people to, <laughs> to put you in the van, you know, that in the... Yeah. Hey, oh, they, here. Just, they just told us to sit here, man. They yeah. told... Oh, they didn't, they didn't understand well what I said. You're sure that, that Bertrino was not in the plane? He wasn't with us, man. We flew first class. Maybe he was sitting back with the peasants, you know. You you flew first class. Yeah. 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 yeah thanks for the ticket, man. No, this is a little bit of a problem. You you didn't get the telegram, or what telegram? You no. said come over here and party. Yeah, you you was on the list, but there are a little bit financial problems. You know, Mr. Patrick, or. Yeah, yeah, he's the dude that phoned us up and sent us the tickets, man. Oh, yeah, he's a good dude. We met him at a party. Yeah, no. He's yeah. all right. He's a heavy fan of ours. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he told us, man, he says, come on to Amsterdam and let's party. Yeah, so yeah. we've been studying up on partying, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got it down pretty good. We're, yeah, pretty we're ready, good. we're ready, man. Yeah, to, be, to be quite honest, I asked him to, to send you a telegram to, uh, to cancel this trip because we have a little bit of financial problems to... You know, oh, yeah? Yeah. The, the Mr. Patrick, in the, he left with all my money and uh, and also my car, so so certainly he will be come back one of one of these days. But, oh, uh, yeah, he'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll, we'll help you out. We'll do a show for you, man. Hey, man, we haven't worked in four years. Come on. Yeah, that's okay, man. I remember all the bits, man. Hey, where's the windmills, man? Now the windmills is, and maybe you can see one on your left. Where's the chocolate? <laughs> Uh, you, you ever been before in, in, in Holland? Or? No, man. What are you doing in, in America? Are you in the radio shows or something you, like that? You haven't heard of Cheech and Chong? Yeah. No, no. Where you been, under a rock? <laughs> and we no. make movies, man. 
I have a wonderful movie theater in uh, oh, yeah? Amsterdam. Yeah. And we have an press conference, and I want to introduce Louis Parton and Bert Reynolds, and that, yeah. that people from Holland, the news, the, the news, the Krampen, the newspapers. Where is the party is going, going to be, man? Is that one of the parties? Because Patrick said that uh, Sylvia Crystal is going to be at the party. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe she is on the party. You're a Hollander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a Hollander, yeah. <laughs> But then there, there are there are a few parties, but I have to cancel a little bit of the parties because that financial problems. Maybe we can have one party. Do you know where we can score some hash, man? What do you mean? Hash? I got that address at that doper cafe, man. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of cafes in Amsterdam. Yeah, just in there. The only thing about jet lag, man, is you gotta smoke a lot of dope and it comes out even. <laughs>